I'm feeling a bit dizzy and I'm supposed to be going to a wedding fair to meet up with Holly and my mum and I was going to take Ellie with me and Xander's like, don't worry mummy, you have a rest in your bed and daddy's bed, I can go with Ellie. He's so cute. What are you doing? Making a mess that Daddy will have to clear up. Yeah, it's true. It's true. You're gonna stop making that mess. Can I have that? But don't vacuum that up, please, because if you vacuum it up, it gets stuck in those little holes and loses all the suction. You've got to sweep it up with a dustpan and brush. I've got Ellie with me. My legs are tiny. They are not. Yes, they are. They do usually do. Ellie's got her welly boots on today because it's been raining last night. Also because they're super cute. Oh, look at, look at my knees. Look at this. Look at this. Now, short. Tell us, tell us, Hi. Ellie. What happened? So I felt a big drop of water on my head, and when I when I saw it drop down from where it was, I saw a big splash of water splash in the ocean. So I reckon it was a joke that I made, and she picked up a pedal and dropped it on my head, just a little drop. And you know who else is a joke for sometimes? Me, this girl back right here. Who's got two thumbs and likes Talking to joke to around? It's this girl. Oh, you're funny, Ellie. So, if you were going to get married, Ellie, before we go to the wedding fair and you look at everything, what do you think you'd do for your wedding? I would. Kiss a lot. Kiss a lot. Well, yes. Good. And I would get everything that me and Lucas wanted. Just so you know, he's already my fake husband. So you're definitely marrying Lucas, yeah? He said when he's older, he asks you. <laughs> Ellie's scared of dogs or something. <laughs> okay. That's why I hate you. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> So what, where would you get married? In a big church or a big I mansion would, or on the I beach? I would get or married at Legoland. At Legoland. <laughs> Good yes. choice. I'm coming to that wedding. What flowers would you have? No, I would have roses and tulips. Oh, very nice. I love tulips. And Sometimes tulips can get a bit snappy. <laughs> Would you have and your kiss. hair up or your hair down? I would have it up. I would have it half up, half down. Oh, very nice. That's what Mummy did for her wedding. What about and a then, veil and a tiara? Would you actually, have either of those? I, I would have a plaited bun and then flat out, come out of the bun. Oh, wow. I like the sound of that. And then and I would have a really pretty pink wedding dress. A pink? With, with, with a really long that that goes out oh, behind it. The train, yeah. Yeah, and then a really sparkly bit that goes over my the face. The veil? Yeah. I like veils. I was going to have a veil for my wedding, but I I had this veil, right, since I was like yeah, and, um, in year seven, maybe year eight. Guess what? But we lost it. It was going to be my something old. Um, I would have like a really pretty fake princess crown. Oh, as well as the veil, that'd be cool. 
out yet and I would have it on top of the veil, making sure that it doesn't Well, fall. usually what you do is you have the veil back at the back, so you'd have your crown and then you'd have the veil. But when you walk down the aisle, you have half of the veil over your face. Then you get to the end of the aisle and your husband or your dad lifts the veil up to make sure that you're definitely the right bride. No one's impersonating you or anything. I think that's the old tradition of why they do that. But yeah. I would want Daddy to take it off. Would Daddy walk you down the aisle? Wait, no, Lucas. No, no, Lucas will be at the end of the aisle waiting for you. Oh. The thing is that someone's supposed to walk you down the aisle to give you away. To say that you are now Lucas's and Lucas is yours. So <laughs> Can do you know, I do my boots? Do you know that you and your gramps, my daddy, walked mummy down the aisle? Me and Gramps. Yeah, I was holding you and I was, Who was linked the, arms with daddy. Who Not was my daddy, your gramps. Who was the flower girl? I didn't have a flower girl. Aww. No. I wanted to be the flower girl, just a little baby. You were kind of the flower girl, because you walked, but you walked me down the aisle with me instead of in front of me, because you couldn't Help. walk. But you stood up properly for the first time at my wedding, at the reception. Yes. You were on a chair and I let go and you stayed stood up. Hey, hey, no, I can just do it. it. Can there do it is. It. Pull it through. Oh. There you go. Yeah, yeah, I'm just doing do Ellie's welly strap. <sighs> Come on, because we're going to be late. Oh, no Holly will be like, where are they? Hang on. Where's my flower girl and my photographer? Mm. It's a good thing it's not her wedding day. If we're running late on her wedding day, we're in big trouble. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure we're staying over the night before on her wedding day. Nice day. Sleepover! Ah. I've always wanted to And sleep you get to wear makeup. Hey. <laughs> Your makeup or Holly? Probably Holly's makeup. Oh! Right, come on. Let's go. Yeah, so, you go. Right, more. Yeah, we've just been coming from that way. No, we haven't, darling. Yes, we have. <laughs> we have been. Right, so. Mommy, look what about. What <gasps> colours would you go for for your um, wedding? What would your bridesmaids be wearing? What colour dresses? Red or white? You can't have your bridesmaids wear what? I suppose if you're wearing pink. And if you had to choose out of your friends right now three bridesmaids, who would you pick? Lily Mae. Yeah. Alicia. Yeah. And Eva. Very nice. Then my BFFs. <laughs> They're the first BFFs I ever had. That's not true. Your first BFF was a girl called Shreya. But she went to a different big school than you. My first BFF that I ever had in that school. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, she was your nursery BFF. I don't even remember her. Oh, cold. Besides, if you didn't go to the same school, I don't want to be friends. <laughs> wow. Her daddy was a doctor. <laughs> the eye roll. Anyway. I do that all the time to Grandad this. And it back to you. <laughs> the sass is real. I love it. Anyway, what else do we need about weddings? What about your cake? What will your cake look like? <laughs> it would be top blue, the bottom pink. Very nice, very nice. And, and what would it be? Victoria sponge, Madeira, chocolate, fruit cake? Um, it would be ice cream cake. cake. Vanilla cake, that sounds good. Yeah, vanilla flavour cake. Vanilla sponge. So it would be a big slice, a medium slice, and a little slice. Yeah. And um, on the top there would be an icing statue of me and Lucas hugging. Oh. And then there would be like little love heart candles around the two other slices. Where so there was cute. face. Aww. What? So I'm, cute. I love it. What? I love it. Right. Any other little details you'd have at your wedding? Um, I would have balloons, banners, and they would be pink and blue, of course. Of course. Blue at the edges and pink at the sides. 
I'm gonna file this somewhere very special and then when you get engaged one day I'm gonna show it to you and then um, I would have um, I mean I would have to have like a bracelet or a ring or something yeah to give to Lucas well you have rings you exchange rings I would have to have a bracelet on very nice very nice um, I would, um, and Lucas would be wearing the best shirt and tie and trousers you have ever seen. And I would have to have high heels. Definitely. Golden high heels. Golden high heels. That is amazing. With sparkles. I can't wait to go to your wedding in Legoland. It's going to be great. Ellie also has big plans for when she has a baby and does a gender, gender review. review. <laughs> so, um, I'll use the balloons again, but instead of just plain balloons, I'll cut the string off and put little slips that say boy and girl. Boy in the blue, girl in the pink. And I'll get each of my friends to pop one balloon and I'll tell them which one to because it's going to be my wedding so your gender reveal yeah. <laughs> and my gender and then um, whichever gender gets the most slips let's say boy or girl will be the actual gender of the baby so or, like some of the balloons wouldn't have slips in maybe yeah. and then some one of the balloons wouldn't have slips in and those ones would be the black ones well you can't have the Actually, yeah, they'll be they'll also be, be pink and yeah. blue, so we can trick them. Yeah, and then they pop them, and there's nothing in there. And then yeah. you have to count up what's boy and what's girl, and you'll find out if you're having a boy or a girl. And who? And if girl has the most sense, it's going to be a girl. And if boy has the most sense, it's going to be a boy. Yeah, you've got your whole life with Lucas planned out, haven't you, Ellie? Or, or if you have the baby before the gender reveal, yeah. then we can surprise them and see if they're right when they pop a balloon. That would be cool. No, so if you like, had a baby girl, what would you call the baby girl? I would call it Daisy. And if you had a little boy, what would you call the boy? Jensen. <laughs> Wheels in motion 
you before the sun goes down It's what you're doing Making me feel like I'm falling And when you're moving I can hear my calling There's no one else here that I see but you It's what you're doing